So in this video, I will show you how I'm doing the uh, the probing uh, and uh, corner finding and centering uh, using a nice uh, screen set that I found on the internet. Uh, if I open uh, the screen set, it is here. And the part I will focus on is this part down here uh, where you uh, can enter a plate thickness. I have a four millimeter plate and then uh, using the C button here to find the uh, top of the plate or the workpiece using uh, my f uh, uh, zero finding tool uh, and then we can try the center here uh, also how do I install this? first of all I had to uh, find it on the internet uh, and uh, this is the page where I found it on uh, so it uh, looks like it's called CNC Arena. What I did search for was this HOS 1024 probing tool diameter matrix. Uh, and then uh, somewhere down in the text, I found this piece here. And so when you have downloaded the, the zip file uh, onto your computer, uh, you will unzip it and uh, then you will get a file, uh, a set file that you put in the Mark III folder. And then in order to enable it, you have to go to View, Load Screens, and then you uh, will basically just have to go down and select it, it is here, and then Open, and then after uh, having done that, uh, you will basically open and uh, the program again, and then this uh, uh, tab will be available with all these functions here. If you want to change the code which is functioning on any of these buttons, uh, you basically go to Operator, Edit Button Script, and then all buttons that you can't do something about are flashing. And let's just take this one here, for example. You can, and then it will open a simple uh, text editor, and you can see you have all the code here. It's actually very nicely uh, annotated and then you can change uh, whatever uh, parameters uh, you would like uh, to do it. For example, if you don't want it to retract uh, 21 uh, inch, this is to 1 inch uh, in millimeters at this speed, but maybe you want to go faster or shorter, you can just change the code here and then save it and then the going forward uh, the code will then work as you have specified it. So it is also, again, fairly easy uh, to, to work on. In the SketchUp file, I did put in a, a drawing of a center and corner finding tool. Uh, I did put in three parts, uh, the uh, square one here, or the, and then uh, two of these uh, brackets. Uh, you can see here is the second one. Uh, and I only want, used one of them, but of course the idea is you can stack them if you want to have a higher uh, piece. But uh, one will do, and of course if you only have one, uh, it will fit on more material than if it's uh, thicker. Uh, so I just want to show how it actually works, how to install uh, some uh, probing program in Mark III and also how you use this one in uh, practice. I know that I have shown pieces of it uh, in some of the other videos, but I thought it was worthwhile uh, compiling it uh, a little more detailed here. So you can see um, the two pieces here. I have put it in some threads. It's a uh, four millimeter. And um, just a little eye here for the connection. Uh, and that's basically what I need here uh, to get it put together. It has two basic functions. You can use this surface here, or for that matter the other one, uh, to find the surface. Of course you have to compensate for the thickness of this plate. It's supposed to be 4mm, but actually it is 3.95mm, so it's uh, I think equivalent to 9 gauge. Stainless steel. Then, if you put it on the corner, then you can see that the the corner will then appear in the center of this hole. So, so before I start using uh, the uh, zero and uh, corner finding tool, I just want to do a ref home all for the machine.
So that puts all the coordinates uh, for the machine to zero. And uh, then let's envision that I want to find the, uh, the surface here and then this corner here, which is uh, exactly what the, uh, the pieces are supposed to do. So after having done the uh, ref home all, I have moved the spindle uh, in on the material I want to work on. And I take my feeler gauge here. And now I, the first thing I want to do is set the uh, set height to zero. So I go to the uh, offset and probing. I have put the plate thickness, which is 4 mm, and then I hit set. And then it moves up again 10 millimeters. Uh, and if I go and look, then uh, the set is now 10 millimeter high. And uh, then next thing I want to do is to go uh, into this hole here. And measure. Like that. It's now... Uh, the bit is just inside uh, the uh, the hole, and then I will ask the uh, click in the middle here. When it touches, goes back to the center, touches to the other side in a sec. That's it.